Well, I was called really by God before that, um, before the time that I met her, definitely. But I think she's taught me a great deal during my priesthood now, after meeting her and knowing about her, uh, to be able to, to serve people and, and to really go out to whomever um, needs my assistance and to reach them with love and compassion and to follow the example she has been for me. I think Mother Teresa's helped me in my life, even though it was after I was already called to enter the seminary, uh, to be able to continue to find ways to help other people in their own lives and their spiritual journey with God, but also in their physical needs. And I think now looking back on people who are homeless or working with the gangs and you know helping adolescents you know, kind of draw out a gang um, problems and. Uh, also visiting uh, so many of the prisoners as I've done for, for 19 years now um, has really helped me to be there with people who most need God's grace and God's love. I think also the thing that Mother Teresa taught me was that um, in starting a new community, there are always difficulties, but God's always going to be by your side to help you. And as I quote so often, God is never far from any one of us. And I think Mother Teresa really felt that too. There are two words that she has in each of her chapels, and um, there are two words that are right next to the tabernacle where we have the Blessed Sacrament, and those two words are, I thirst. And I've always kind of wondered why she chose those two words. They're the words that Jesus spoke from the cross. But it's very interesting, in one of the books about her life, the author says that it was both she was thirsting for God and God was thirsting for her to do God's work. So I just really love those two words and um, I should really put them next to my, my tabernacle in my chapel too, to remind me of that. But every chapel that I went to that was her community's chapel, I remember seeing those two words there. And it reminds us of how we also spiritually thirst for God in our lives and want God to be near us, but also that God's expecting something of us that we also serve our sisters and brothers as mother has done so beautifully.